Today I want to introduce to you whole grains. What is a whole grain? Well, think about it like this. White rice is naked, while whole brown rice has its clothes on. A processed grain is stripped of the outer brown, the germ containing the fiber, B vitamins, minerals, and enzymes, and is mostly a carbohydrate. So when we eat processed grains like white rice, white flour, it digests really, really quickly. Our blood sugar levels spike up and crash soon after, leaving us slow, tired, and hungry, which we're not. It is only because our blood sugar level crashed. Since processed grains are mostly a carb and deficient in all the nutrients, they also make us eat much, much more than we really need. This is because our body is designed to eat whole foods as nature created and doesn't understand what this incomplete, unnatural, refined food is and is crying out for nutrition. When we eat a whole grain, the sugar, the carbohydrates, goes into our blood slowly, keeping our blood sugar levels stable. It also keeps our mood stable, providing sustainable, high-quality energy and giving us really great nutrition. Eventually, we also eat less because our body gets nutrition. Now, there's many, many different kinds of whole grains. I just want to introduce a few. We have the brown rice here. This is the long brown rice. There's also a shorter grain brown rice, which actually would be stickier. This one is more dry. Then we have the buckwheat, which is great for breakfast, but also great for lunch. And it's really high in protein. It's, it's gluten-free. It's a wonderful great grain that originally comes from Russia. Then we have the quinoa. There's a few different kinds of quinoa. This one actually is the white quinoa and it's a bit more processed. You have red quinoa, black quinoa, amazing, so high in protein, has about 50% more protein than wheat would have. It has an outer layer that's a bit, um, you'd, like, you'd actually just want to make sure you rinse your grains really, really well. Then we have the amaranth, which is also a grain from South America. Again, really high in protein. All these grains that are, gluten, that are not from the wheat family actually have way more protein. And you can just add them to whatever it is you're eating. You can add them to salads. You can stir fry them with vegetables. I'm soon going to show you how to make a great roll. And this is the, the oats that we all know. Great for breakfast. Now what you'd like to, these, these oats actually are the bigger oats. Don't go for the little ones that are processed. Actually go for as whole, as close to nature as you can. Now when you're cooking a whole grain, what you want to do is actually soak them overnight. It starts a sprouting process. Then the next day you rinse it, even though the oats you don't have to, like I would cook them in the soaking water, but all the other grains, soak them overnight, rinse them, and then cook them. Usually it's about a cup of grains, two cups of water. Now what I do, I always cook my, my grains just plain. You, know, you could add vegetables, you could add condiments, you could add, but I make them plain and then I do different things with them. I add them to soups, add them to stews. I want to show you this amazing roll, which is just so delicious because we all love sandwiches and there's nothing wrong with eating sandwiches, but the problem is, is when we start eating bread all the time, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So here's a great way to actually make yourself a sandwich with whole grains. What you do is you take a seaweed sheet, the nori. This is the same ones they make the sushi from. You can buy them in supermarkets and health food stores. It's just a nori sheet. And I'm going to put some rice here. I cooked it, and it's, it's not hot, but it's still kind of warmish. But you can make this roll with actually any of the grains I introduced, quinoa, buckwheat. This right actually is a bit stickier. So it's great. Now th there's your base. Think about this like a sandwich. Okay, you have your seaweed, you have your bread, and now you're going to put whatever you would put in a sandwich. You can, so I'm just going to make this one vegetarian, but you can put anything. So there's, I'll put some carrots. I'm actually going to put some strawberries because they give it a little of a sweet flavor, which is great. I love avocado. You always want to be putting healthy fats. Don't go fat free. So avocado is a wonderful delicious, fat, oily. It's actually a fruit, but we think it's a vegetable. So I'm going to put some avocado there. I steam some sweet potato. So you can put that there. And you can put eggs. You could put fish. You can actually really play around and enjoy. It's just like making a sandwich. It is delicious. Now, of course, green leaves, imported. Very, very important. I want another great way to put tons of green leaves in. And I love tahini. This is tahini, it's sesame paste. I mixed it with some water and lemon juice. 
And I'm just gonna put like this, a yummy, delicious flavor. Again, you could do it with whatever you want. You could put pesto, you could put any other sauce. And then what you do is you roll one side up and you roll it like this. And there you go. You have the most delicious, healthiest sandwich ever. You can also put a bit of olive oil and soya sauce inside. It's yummy, it's delicious. Try it out. Now the focus this week is not changing, not eliminating everything, anything from your diet, but actually adding. Add whole grains this week to your diet. Choose even one whole grain that you're gonna add. When are you gonna add it? How are you gonna add it? Go for it and enjoy. Have a super life. Mm -hmm.